Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. This is going to be a September's in and out video. That means I'm going to show you everything that has come into my life in September and also everything that I have decluttered in September. I've seen these kinds of videos on other creators channels and I thought it's an idea worth trying. So let me know how you like it. Also, I just realized I think I got bit by a mosquito last night. So yeah, that's that. So let's go ahead and I'll first share everything with you that has come into my life in September. As a late birthday gift, I got this book. It's in English originally and it's called Invisible Women as far as I know. I can link it down below for you and I think it's a really great book. It's very um, scientifically written but still interesting to read and I have to admit it kind of makes me angry. It's just it illustrates the unfairness and the inequalities we still have to face, we still have to find solutions for. And yeah, I can recommend it. Another thing that has come into my life is this new pair of jeans. Um, it's blue. I originally didn't want to have any blue clothes in my wardrobe anymore, but I found this at a clothing swap. And I'm actually gonna link you the video up here where I went to the clothing swap, take you along, show you a little bit of how it works and what I got. Apart from that, it's just clothes for my son. Um, yeah, but I picked up this pair of jeans because my black pair of jeans is really at the end of its life. And so I really needed a new pair. And a lot of you said that you liked the color. And so I think I'm gonna try getting used to it now and wearing it instead of trying to dye it or find a better pair in like brown or black or something. So that's another thing that has come into my life. Then, as I was picking up something I bought secondhand for my son, I found this sweater. It was next to a clothing donation box. Like, it should have gone in there, but it was full and it was on the ground and it was dirty. And so that's just one of these cases where I think I can take it with me because these clothing donation boxes usually don't even do anything good for people at the planet. And so I took this sweater with me and as you can see, it's not like, it's not complete anymore. And in a recent video, I actually took this apart and started knitting something. And I'm also gonna link a video up here so you can check it out and you can kind of see the process of me doing that. But that's just the leftover, like that's the part of the sweater that I did not need. Now I could kind of make a huge sweater vest out of it, but I don't have any use for that. So I have this, I can make something else out of it if I need something. Um, yeah, here's another part, but I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. And for now it's just with my handcrafting supplies, um, ready to be used whenever I have a good idea. But what I actually made out of, um, the wool or like it's cotton is this beautiful tank top. This pattern is by Petite Knit and it's called the Cumulus Top. There's also a t-shirt um, made similarly and I've been thinking about making a t-shirt and I want to say something to this. So this color, I like it. I like it a lot, but I'm not sure if it's like one of my favorite colors for my wardrobe. But what I wanted to try with this top, now it's getting colder, winter is starting, so it's like the worst time of the year to knit a summer top. But my idea is that I can still wear it underneath sweaters. And I really just need to try that out because otherwise I don't, I don't know. And because with my wardrobe being extremely minimal and I really want to keep it that way, I just don't really want to have a top that I can only wear in summer. So the idea is that I can wear this all year round and that's what I'm gonna try out. I just finished it yesterday evening and I already wore it with a sweater on top and it kind of worked out, but it was another self-knitted sweater. So it's like a thicker one. I'm just gonna try it out over the next few months. And at the end of the, um, at the end of the winter, I'm sure I'm gonna know more and I can tell you whether this is gonna stay in my wardrobe and whether I'm, gonna make more like knitted t-shirts, maybe also the cumulus t-shirt, maybe out of the rest of the cotton, or if knitted t-shirts are just not something practical in my wardrobe. Also let me know what you think, if it will work out or what your concerns are. That's actually already been all the things that came into my life or like, I mean, 
It's many for being a minimalist and trying to consume very intentionally. But now let's move on to the things that I have decluttered. Now, these are all personal things for our household or for all of us. I still also got some things at a flea market for my son. I got something for our kitchen from like the flea market. Um, I got some books for my son. And yeah, but now let's move on to the category of things that I have decluttered from my life. We have uh, a lot of books here. So these were all books I got for my birthday. And I usually just read the books and then I give them to somebody else to read. Some of these I will give to my boyfriend. Like I'll actually declutter them and then they belong to my boyfriend and he can do with them whatever he wants. I do not want to keep them anymore. Um, and the first one, that's definitely going to be the case for this one. So um, this is like the Rivers of London series. And I really like it. It's fiction. It's a fantasy world and it's it's in London. It has to do with a wizard. It's written in a very funny way and actually one of you, I got um, one of these books for my birthday last year as well. I think that's like the sixth book in the series maybe um, and you started reading it because of me, because I recommended it. So maybe there are some of you who also would like to start a series. It's, it's I think it's, it's a great series. So I'll also link this book down below as well as all the other ones if I can find links to books for where you live. I mean, you're from all over the world, so that's maybe going to be difficult, but I'll see what I can do. Another book that I got for my birthday is this. It's actually like the play version. It's not the original book. And it's a very touching story, I would say. And I just, I love, and I've said that before, I love reading books from like different people, from different um, backgrounds and perspectives. I think it's really important to also get a better understanding just as a human population on this planet, I think it's very interesting and very important to read books from different people or talk to different people. This is a book that's only available in German, I think. It's from like an influencer, um, business woman. She does a lot of things, activist. And I thought it was really, really good. It's kind of a self-help book, but it is without all of these scientifically wrong things like she strongly focuses on things that you actually can do on proven strategies to improve your life it's without any like toxic positivity and it, you really don't need to like discriminate a group of people to have your happiness or anything that sometimes happens in these self-help books so i really like this one there was were no like really new ideas for me but I like, I like her in general and I really loved her book. And it was also just really wonderful reading some more of her personal story. And then last but definitely not least in the books category, there's the Afro Minimalist's Guide to Living with Less. And I have to say this book was, was really inspirational. I was looking forward to reading this. My boyfriend got it for my birthday and he, we had to wait like three weeks because it was shipped from the US because it wasn't avail available in Germany like normally in the bookstores. But it was worth it. I really, really liked it. Now, it's not a book that is focused on like um, minimalists that are already super minimalist. <laughs> That's a weird sentence. It's more so for people to guide them through their minimalist journey. But it was still very, very interesting. It was great reading some of her personal story. It was great seeing her approach to minimalism. And I also found that we think about minimalism very similarly. So she strongly focuses on authenticity. She strongly focuses on um, finding the things that actually make sense in your life. And she really emphasizes on that it is not important to follow a certain aesthetic, that it is not important to have a certain number, to go a certain route, but that it is really all about having the things that make sense in your life, which is exactly what I believe too. So I can highly recommend this book. And I also follow her on Instagram, which is lovely as well. And yeah love to read it and now it's just yeah i i mean i i don't need it anymore but i hope somebody else will find that very interesting and inspirational as well and then because i have a new pair of jeans i am going to declutter my old pair 
they actually are starting to have holes like at my butt and there's a hole here and just this, this whole seam is really not strong anymore. I have holes at the side here where I try to make them smaller, but it falls apart again. And so it's just, yeah, some holes here on the leg as well. Um, so it's just time for them to go. Um, I will either recycle them or maybe make something out of them, but I just don't know what at the moment. So if you have any ideas for that, um, let me know down below in the comments. And then something uh, I'm still not sure about it is this hoodie. I think it's time for it to go. I have six like sweaters, hoodies, things to put on top of t-shirts, wearing to be warm. And I just don't need all of them. And I think, and I really prefer to not have six. And I think it's just time for this one to go. I, it, you saw, I, I kept this one because some, a lot of you would suggest that I would keep it and my boyfriend also really likes it and I just made it a few months ago. So I'm gonna keep this one for now, but I think just, I just think this one has to go now. Um, but I'm now gonna take my own advice. I'm gonna consider it decluttered, put it where all of our decluttered stuff is waiting to be taken somewhere else while this is, I'm not sure, I can't really give that to somebody else anymore, but I'm still gonna put it there, consider it decluttered and just see over the next few months if I regret it. And if I really feel, like not just once, but if I feel over like days or weeks that I really regret it and want to have this back, I'm gonna take it back. But for now I'm considering decluttered and usually it also stays decluttered when I'm doing it that way. So a total of three real things have like entered my life. Also this like material that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with. And a total of six things have left my life. This does not really make like my number of things I own a lot smaller, just because I've gotten a lot of things in August because it was my birthday. And the books I still have will be decluttered in the following months. Plus there's just always this small fluctuation of things that enter my life things that go and I thought it's just something that could be interesting to you seeing how things in my belongings change. So let me know what you think, let me know if you like this video and also let me know how this works in your life. Are you decluttering things on a regular basis each month? Are there new things coming in your, into your life um, during every month? And how happy are you overall with like the situation of stuff entering and leaving your life? Thank you so, so much for watching. And if you want to see more videos, I'm gonna link you a video here and a playlist here. And I also hope to see you in my next video. Bye.